My name is David Michalizic. I'm a hand and wrist surgeon at Holy Family Memorial. Today I'm going to be discussing carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a very common problem. A lot of people get carpal tunnel syndrome for a variety of different reasons. The most common cause of carpal tunnel is unknown. A lot of people get it without a specific cause. The diagnosis of carpal tunnel is made in the office with a history and a physical examination. We also get an EMG test, which is a nerve test that tests the nerves going down the arm. And if a nerve is tight, which is what carpal tunnel is, then we can measure that. Carpal tunnel is a tight nerve at the wrist. This nerve provides sensation to the thumb through ring fingers. Patients often have symptoms at night that wake them up from sleep. They also have difficulties holding a phone or occasionally driving. After we see the patient in the office and we do the history and physical exam and we get the EMG test, we discuss different treatment options. Non-surgical treatment includes splinting, anti-inflammatories, occasionally occupational therapy, and possibly a cortisone injection. If conservative treatment fails, then surgical option with carpal tunnel release is usually the next step. Carpal tunnel release is a very safe and short procedure that is highly effective with minimal risk. Carpal tunnel release takes approximately five minutes. The recovery is very straightforward and simple. There is a soft dressing for four days. Light activity is allowed right away. Follow-up is two weeks after surgery for suture removal, and patients often get back to regular activity within the first four to six weeks following surgery. If you have any questions in regards to carpal tunnel syndrome, feel free to contact my office.